Hi everyone, welcome to another video by Less Tax to Pay. Today we're going to be looking at Zero and connecting a bank feed directly into Zero. Uh, people ask me the reason why you should be connecting bank feeds into your cloud accounting solution. Two reasons mainly. Time saving is the first one, because it stops you having to manually enter, and accuracy as well. Because it's a download of information, it's not relying on humans to enter the information. So if it appears on your bank, it will appear inside your software. So again, accuracy is a big thing. So as you can see, we've down, we've in logged in to our dashboard. You can see this is a blank company. So this is as if you've started from scratch and we haven't got a bank account connected. Now we're not actually gonna connect a bank account. We're just gonna go through the process of what you need to do. So you've got a couple of options in Zero. You can either just click on where it says bank balances, add account, and it will ask you to search for your bank so you can search for NatWest or Lloyds um, TSB is not there um, Barclays so as you can see it's a multitude of different companies um, and different banks that you can find um, one of the new newest banks on the market which is uh, Metro Bank um, so if you click on that it'll ask you account name account type um, it'll ask you for uh, if you need a direct feed generally it will be asking for your bank account details so if I go to NatWest for instance uh, NatWest business bank account sort code so if I give it a name I'll make up the sort code. Um, one, 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 one. Continue. It'll ask you for your customer ID, user ID, part, PIN, password, and then it will ask you to connect to the bank going forward. Um, as I mentioned in a previous video with QuickBooks Online, when I done this, when you connect the bank account and you start doing a download of information do not log into your business banking um, on an internet browser at the same time it can cause issues with the download it can cause issues with the bank feed to even to the point where it will suspend the bank feed um, basically because the banks have a security measure in place to say you cannot be logging in at two locations at the same time so you're either one or the other we're going to believe the internet browser over a third party integration um, if that happens you can get um, direct feeds from the bank you just need to speak to your bank about how they go about it integrating with zero into a direct feed capacity um, the other option you've got if you didn't want to click on bank feeds is if you went to accounts and bank accounts you could do exactly the same thing add a bank account go through the process Santander business bank you can see it's taking you log in and connect accounts and it will, ask, it will take you to Santander to log in and it will create the uh, link between Zero and the bank account. That's all we're going to go through today. If you have any questions about doing bank fees, please leave comments below um, or even get in contact with us. Um, you'll see our website at the bottom uh, in the comments section of the video. Um, also, please hit the subscribe button and the no notifications bell because um, as we're doing more and more videos, we like to make sure that no one's missing out on these little little tip videos that we do. Also, hit the thumbs up. That's also a great way to let us know that we're doing the right videos. And we'll see you soon.